putting these things on some guitar, so I thought I'd see if I could do it. And now, now that we're done with the yodeling portion of the evening, uh, it's a gimmick, a little bit of a gimmick. I gotta get some more than my act. You know, I'm, not, I'm not an act. Uh, well, this, uh, this song I'm about to play was a um, nice big number one record for Colin Ray, uh, one of my all-time favorite singers. And this is a song I always, I always say, I almost wrote this song with Neil Diamond. Because Neil Diamond came down to Nashville a few years ago, and he wanted to do an album where he wrote with other Nashville writers. And so I was one of the ones they called up, and, they, and I never co-write. Anyone that knows uh, the Nashville knows I don't co-write. Mainly because I, I just can't relax in front of another writer. But anyway, I, you know, I love Neil Diamond. That's because you like to write naked. <laughs> Aside from that. <laughs> Victoria told me that. Oh, Victoria. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, Neil Diamond, I was called up by Neil Diamond's uh, people, and they said, you want to write with Neil Diamond? Uh, and, I, and I said, well, hell, I can't say no to that. So I said, I agreed to it, and I, I flew down to Nashville, and uh, Neil had rented a house out in Brentwood, and... Uh, they said, come out to the house and hang out with Neil, uh, and then tomorrow morning you guys will get together and ride all day. And so I, started, I was getting more and more nervous. You know, so I got down to Nashville. I, started, I went down and met Neil, and he was really nice. And I uh, talked to some other writers, and they said, it's really great to ride with, and he may even give you a guitar. And so I thought, well, you know. So anyway, uh, long story short here, I got, I got more and more nervous. And, and finally that night, before I had to, I thought, I don't have to do this. So I got up in the morning and I called down to his house and uh, I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to bag it because uh, my mother's been in a car accident. <laughs> I needed a good excuse. And so, you know, anyway, that was, that's what I did. So anyway, I came back to New York and I finished this song myself. I had started this song and I was going to bring it in, but I went ahead and finished it. So anyway, I, uh, I get back home about two months later and I told a good friend of mine, Mike Reed, this story about me blowing up Neil Diamond and so I got back home and uh, two months later the phone rang and they said is this Hugh Preston and I said yes and they said this is Neil Diamond's office and we're wondering how your mother's doing <laughs> and, and I started freaking out and then all of a sudden I heard laughing and it was Mike Reed <laughs> anyway this is this, this is a song <laughs> Shouldn't have played that good. I got carried away and let the music go to my head. Well, she shouldn't have worn that dress that we had curled around when she was spinning. Just kill me, dead. My heart began to tell my body and my soul It had gotten in the mood to lose control No, no When the neon light turned into moon no. When did that jukebox turn to a rainbow I'm about to give in to this urge One more slow with her arms around me, one more long glance And nothing will slow down me, I got no chance If I'm not in love, I'm on the verge All I wanted to be was cool It ain't my style to overheat But as we floated across the floor, all at once I passed right past the point of no return. And when we said goodnight, the sun was on the rise, and any stars that hadn't set had fallen in my eyes. Oh no. 